Are you tired of hearing about the greatest video games of all time, only to find out they're not all they're cracked up to be? Well, you're not alone. As gamers, we've all fallen victim to the hype at one point or another. We've shelled out our hard-earned cash, eagerly unwrapped the game, and sat down to play. Only to be disappointed by what we found. Let's look at the top 10 most overrated video games as I explore why they didn't live up to the hype and whether they're worth playing today. Fortnite was everywhere when it was released in 2017. It promised a unique battle royale experience with shooting, building, and survival elements thrown in. Plus, regular updates to keep the game fresh and exciting. And don't forget those quirky dance moves. No wonder it became such a cultural phenomenon. But here's the thing, after playing it for a while, you realize that Fortnite's core gameplay loop is repetitive. It's fun at first, sure, but it quickly becomes tedious. And those building mechanics that were supposed to be so unique, they often lead to frustrating encounters where players can quickly build massive structures and overpower their opponents. To make matters worse, the game's updates often prioritize cosmetic items over gameplay changes or fixes. So, while you may have a cool-looking character, the gameplay is still imbalanced and frustrating. All of this adds up to an overrated game. Okay, let's talk about Minecraft. This game has been around for over a decade and has become a phenomenon, especially among kids. It's a sandbox game that lets you explore, build, and create whatever your heart desires. But is it really worth all the hype? The game's developers promised a limitless world for players to explore and create in, and they delivered on that promise. The vast game world gives you endless opportunities to build and explore. However, after a while, the game can become a bit of a snooze fest. Sure, you can build anything with blocks, but what's the point? The lack of any real story or objective can make it feel aimless. To be fair, the survival mode does add some challenge and excitement to the game, but it can also become repetitive. And let's not forget about the graphics, while they have their charm, they're not for everyone. Some players prefer more realistic visuals, and Minecraft's blocky graphics can be a turn-off. Sure, the game has been updated over the years but it's not always clear what those updates have added in terms of gameplay improvements or new features. While the game offers endless possibilities, those possibilities may not be enough to keep players engaged for the long haul. COD, Infinite Warfare was highly anticipated when it was released in 2016, but did it live up to the hype? The game promised a gripping single-player campaign and an intense multiplayer experience with cutting-edge graphics and new gameplay mechanics. However, the reality was quite different. The single-player campaign was forgettable, with a lackluster story that failed to engage players. The multiplayer experience was also underwhelming, with a lack of innovation. One of the game's most touted features was the addition of space combat, but even that felt lackluster and tacked on. The game's futuristic setting and advanced weaponry felt overdone and tired. It lacked the gritty realism and authenticity that fans of the series had come to expect, instead opting for flashy but ultimately unsatisfying gameplay mechanics. While the game was heavily marketed and anticipated, it failed to deliver on its promises, making it a forgettable addition to the Call of Duty franchise. GTA V promised a massive open world for players to explore, filled with unique characters and interesting storylines. And to be fair, it delivered on that promise. The game world is vast and detailed, with many things to do and discover. However, the game's story can be hit or miss. While some characters are compelling and well-written, others feel one-dimensional and cliched. The game's tone can also be jarring, with moments of humor that feel out of place in a game that deals with serious themes like drug trafficking and organized crime. The game's mechanics, while impressive in some respects, can also be frustrating. Driving can be clunky and imprecise, and the game's shooting mechanics can feel repetitive. The game's online multiplayer mode can also be plagued with bugs and glitches, making it a frustrating experience. 
Of course, we have to mention how the game's treatment of women and minorities has been criticized as sexist and racist. While the game's satirical nature is meant to poke fun at the societal issues, it can come across as offensive to players. The game offers a massive open world to explore, but that alone may not be enough to justify its place as one of the greatest games of all time. The Last of Us is one video game that definitely tugged at our heartstrings. This game was highly acclaimed when it was released in 2013, but does it still hold up today? The game offers a gripping story and intense gameplay set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by infected humans. And to be fair, the story was emotional and heart-wrenching, and the gameplay was intense and challenging. However, players have criticized the game's mechanics as repetitive, with little variation in gameplay throughout the story. That being said, the game's biggest flaw may be its lack of diversity in its cast of characters. The game's protagonist, Joel, is a white man, and many of the game's supporting characters are also white. The game's portrayal of people of color and LGBTQ characters have been criticized as stereotypical and lacking depth. Interestingly enough, the recent HBO Max series based on the game has been praised for its diversity and representation. The TV series expands on the game's story and characters, adding depth and nuance to the world lacking in the original game. Even with recent success, the game may be best left on your shelf. Thank you for watching Killer Queen TV this far. I hope you have enjoyed what you have seen so far. Please don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe to be notified of my future videos. Now, on to the rest of this video. For the time, Halo, Combat Evolved's single-player campaign was gripping and challenging, with an immersive story that kept players engaged from start to finish. The game's multiplayer mode was also a blast, with addictive gameplay and unique weapons that made each match feel fresh and exciting. However, the game's mechanics can feel outdated by today's standards, the game's shooting mechanics can feel clunky and imprecise, and the game's AI can be frustratingly dumb. Additionally, the game's graphics have not aged well and can be a turn-off for players accustomed to more realistic visuals. Also, the game's story, while engaging, can also be a bit one-dimensional. The game's portrayal of the enemy race, the Covenant, has been criticized as overly simplistic and lacking depth. Oh, and the game's female characters are few and far between. While the game was groundbreaking when it was released, it hasn't aged as well as you might think. It's still a fun and nostalgic trip down memory lane for those who played it back in the day, though. Nothing gathered a cult following quite like World of Warcraft. This game has been around for over 15 years and has amassed a huge number of fans. But has it been put on an unrealistic pedestal? Possibly. The game's biggest strength is undoubtedly its gameplay. The game's world is massive and full of detail, with countless quests and activities to engage in. The game's combat mechanics are simple yet satisfying, and the game's character customization options are impressive. The WoW community can also be incredibly friendly and welcoming, with players often forming lasting friendships. However, some players feel that the game's progression is tied too closely to the amount of time or money a player is willing to invest. This has led to a divide in the game's community between those willing to grind for hours or pay for in-game advantages and those who are not, and the game's end-game content can be daunting and overwhelming for new players. It can be challenging to progress without help from others, and the game's emphasis on group content can make it difficult for solo players to enjoy the game fully. Regardless, for those willing to invest the time and effort, World of Warcraft can still provide an immersive and rewarding MMORPG experience, even if it is overrated. Bioshock, the first-person shooter game that took the gaming world by storm in 2007, has been hailed as a masterpiece by many. But is it really as great as it's made out to be? The game promised a dark and complex story set in the underwater city of Rapture, and it certainly delivered on that front. 
The game's story was engaging and thought-provoking, exploring power, morality, and societal decay themes. The game's world-building was also impressive, creating a unique and haunting environment that players could explore. But we're not going to lie here, the gameplay can sometimes be repetitive. The game's shooting mechanics can feel imprecise, and the hacking minigame can be a bit of a chore. While innovative, the game's RPG elements can be frustrating and overly complex for some players. And, while interesting in theory, Bioshock's moral choices can be a bit heavy-handed and lacking in nuance. The game may have been groundbreaking when released, but its flaws make it less than perfect in retrospect. Half-Life 2 is the game that was supposed to be the be-all and end-all of first-person shooters when it was released. And then it fell short in a few key areas. For starters, the game's pacing can be painfully slow at times. Long stretches of exposition and puzzle solving can drag on, making the game feel more like a chore than a fun and engaging experience. And while you appreciate a good story as much as the next gamer, Sometimes you just want to shoot some bad guys and blow things up, you know? But perhaps the biggest disappointment for me was the game's ending. After all that build-up and all those hours spent slogging through the slow-paced story, the ending was just... lackluster. It left many players feeling unfulfilled and wondering what the point of it all was. We won't spoil it for those who haven't played it, but suffice it to say, it's not the kind of ending that will leave you feeling unsatisfied. And yet, for some reason, Half-Life 2 was still considered a masterpiece when it was released. It had its moments, sure, but overall it was a slow and disappointing experience that didn't live up to its potential. Okay, let's get real about Super Mario 64. Yes, it was a groundbreaking 3D platformer when it came out, but looking back, it was definitely overrated. The game promised us an amazing 3D world to explore, but some levels were boring and repetitive. And the camera controls were a total nightmare, often making the game more frustrating than fun. And what's up with the focus on collecting stars and coins? It felt more like a cheap way to extend the game's playtime than an engaging and rewarding experience. The lack of variety in its levels, frustrating camera controls, and uninspired core mechanics make it feel like a cash grab or a slap in the face to fans rather than a well-crafted game.